Hello everyone, where the heck am I at? Where am I at? Oh, there we go. I don't know why there was a delay there. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing all right? All right, all right, all right. So yeah, say hello to the Korgster Mark II. Which, nobody's even seen the Mark I. <laughs> don't know why I would even call it that. Shame there's no way to set, like, the original Gundam to a default slate. Yeah, this is the, uh... Mark II. Of course, we have the, uh, Mark I. with a knight motif. We had to keep the uh, GN Fang binders their original color because it was... We had to keep that crimson look on there. Oh, I didn't have them as blue. Hmm. I mean, it was good. It really sucks that the SDs don't have that much going for them. Like the uh, SD Providence, you don't even get to use its uh, dinosaur mode as a... Um, actual, like, awakening attack, which is a bit stupid. Maybe in a patch or update they'll fix that. They really should. And after a bunch of research, bunch of changes, this is the Mark II. It's got a lot more capabilities. I am a little disappointed we can't have the, uh, I'm hoping in the, in the future update we actually get, um, two more option part slots because that would be amazing. It's like having eight. It's like, can we have it of even ten, please? Because eight just sucks. I think this was our first custom. <laughs> it's like we went with the... like We literally went with the OG Mark Granddaddy Gundam and then just custom colored it. And then we decided, you know what? We're going to make a Corgi. <laughs> a Corgi Knight. And that's basically what we did using those, uh, cheek guards. And I'm like, I'm sorry, who gets smacked in the cheek in Gundam? Like, everybody gets their head taken off. And for this one, we, uh, the version 2, if you can actually see it, we added the, uh, use some alternate parts to create a little bit of depth. Depth. I mean, it's still mediocre by comparison to other professionals, but eh, I like how it turned out. And yes, that beam boomerang does work. He's just got a boomerang stuck in his head. No, this was our first custom build we built off camera. And it, um, could have been better. First attempt's always the worst, right? I mean, we basically built this one, the Korgster, named after our channel mascot, and how you see me here. I'm hopping around. We basically just said, screw it, we're making an SD Corgi. We're gonna do it. And if you look closely, you can even see the little tail right there underneath the O-Riser. You see the little tail. Which, we did keep. If you can see it under the cluster truck that is the backpack and everything else. Like, we just wanted more weaponry, that's all. And then we spent three hours making this, the Archimata, which I am very proud of. I'm even tempted to build this one IRL. Except for the issue that the binders on the legs we can't really do because you can't scale them down. Though I was proud how the rib cage turned out. It's like, how many guns can we f do you want on your- how many option slots and weapons do you want on your mobile suit? It's like, yes. That was the whole point of this. And then we decided, screw it, let's do something stupid and make a chibi Vala Bear from League of Legends. Even the little arm spikes, which actually work. Like, the lower ones. Again, the I have gotten more use out of those cheek guard parts than anything else. This is one of the dumbest builds we've done, and it's like, eh. I think this was one that we started working on. It was supposed to be like a modified Gaia Gundam. It, it's still a work in progress, but 
it's kind of okay. Only issue is that the uh, Akashic Binder shield there for the Unicorn Knight, it's pretty crap. Like, its special ability call is just not that great. Unfortunately, a lot of SDs aren't that great. Because very few, they all share like one move, and that's it. And then we made this one after we streamed Beanie. Tried to make a Bumblebee, but it... I'll be honest, it looks like shit. <laughs> and there's this little stinger there. We literally just used the ball, and then a bunch of other stuff. And this was one we made while tuning into another streamer, live stream, over the weekend. Uh, baseline was Master Gundam. With a few changes. I'm actually happy how it looks and turned out, but... Especially how the horns turned out, but it's not that great in combat due to melee. It does use martial arts. Unfortunately, the range is not that great. Like, I'll demonstrate. I mean, we're just building some... We're just chilling today. Trying to build something new for a friend that we're going to send to a friend. Like, there's some that are designed for combat, and then there's ones that are designed for artistic vision. I mean, getting the guns, picking the right pistols was real hard, because... Can't really shoot that fast. But doing that's fun. And I was actually quite proud of how the uh, left arm of the Lupus Rex actually looks. Plus with the shoulder pauldrons from the ABC cloak, it's just all around not bad. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's an active ability. They don't really do much, but eh, this was more for like visual aesthetics. to keep the darkness gotta keep the darkness finger like i'm sorry the burning the i started with g gundam a lot of people started with wing and that's totally fine i was introduced to gundam through g gundam i still have yet to watch wing i mean i've watched endless waltz like way too many times just for that scene of the wing zero reveal that's awesome nothing will convince me otherwise now, unfortunately, though, the oscillation blades on the feet, which are designed to mesh with the Master Gundam's feet, they don't, unfortunately, change the moveset to the Arche. To the Arche or Aegis. I'm pretty sure Aegis has two sets. But we just used it for that. Like, that's it. That's like our whole design theme behind this machine. Like, imagine Master Gundam, but more evil. Actually, now that I think about it, I gotta... I said to the other streamer the other day, over the weekend, I was watching his stream for five hours making this thing. I think his name was Dennis. Cool dude. I don't know how to give shoutouts on here, but... I don't even know if I can, but... He's a swell dude. Like, he asked me, it's like, you use SDs? He said there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm like, I can tell he's judging. And I'm like, yeah, somebody's gotta use them. Although I think I just realized he can't see... I can't see shit with that visor on. <laughs> eh, well. Now, what was that thing we were going to test for stupid reasons? Who's got the thickest legs? That's the backpack. Mm. <laughs> um, we may use those for later. 
Now, I will admit I'm not a fan of the Leo, but the Serpent custom was actually growing on me a little bit. No, we can do bigger. We can go bigger. I wonder. Like, we may even make some absolutely cursed shit. And that's totally fine. How do we do it? There's like some way to do the combos. Like, I'll admit, martial art and melee have some very interesting combos. It's like Street Fighter. There we go. Come on. Do the thing. <laughs> there we go. I mean, that's kind of goofy looking. I mean, the Juagu in itself is kind of goofy. Unless we try making a jack-in-the-box. Actually, I don't even know if we can. I want to make a jester. But I don't think it's possible. Thick. Thick. I, guess I just got a terrible idea. Like, we're just dicking around, but that's okay. That's all the fun. That's, that's one of the great things. You can build anything you want. <laughs> we're not even hitting him. Oh, the blades actually kind of fit. We're just using our feet like chainsaws. Actually, I would love to build a common rider in this. Particularly, I mean, honestly, I would just make it to show off to another Discord server that I don't even remember how the hell I joined. What happened to my cape? It's like just... It's like, can I not lay flat? Try on three. Yeah, a little better. This is giving me all the wrong ideas. It's like I'm walking on peg legs. You know? I'm sorry. I... Unpopular opinion. Very unpopular opinion. I will admit, I'm not a fan of the Advance of Zeta stuff just because of how different it is, but I will. But I do say. That's gross. That's pretty nice. <laughs> that's not bad. I'm probably never going to use it because I just don't. I can't wrap my head around those kits, those machines. Nodley, skip leg day. Curious. It's also stupid we didn't get the Vidar either. 
Like, that was a fan favorite, a huge fan favorite, and y'all just cut them off? No. How dare you? I'm not a fan of the Stardust Memory Kits either, which I've never touched the Nuke, Nuke Zuka. I've never used it. Or the Extra Large Mace, because I feel like that's just a cheap shot. I didn't want to use any Death Scythe Hell wings because, A, who is not? Find someone who didn't use that with a wing zero. Bale's wings, unfortunately, are pretty crap. Like, you shoot the guns, built the electromagnetic guns in the wing binders for the Bale, they just don't work right. Which is a little bit of a shame. Aegis. Yeah, the blades, oscillation blades from the Aegis. The RK. Gen beam savers. How stupid can we make this? Bitch ain't got no legs, ain't even got the legs. I'm just using the force at that point. No, there's one that's like Totally absurd. Now I remember. We gotta go further down? Junk on the trunk on that. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a tail. Jesus. Break Dia. I'm pretty sure the Break Dias and the Hyakushiki J are from a previous game. Also sucks that the SDs don't have any good OP skills. And the Dong Zhuo Providence. You got nothing. Oh, if you want a if if you want a nightmare, like people said, the Gundam The End was a nightmare for stickers. I'm like, y'all have not built a Dovin Wolf like this version because the red marks all over it are stickers. Even and it's even worse on the forearms. Like it is the worst. I'll probably bring it up later. Where? Eh. Mm, maybe. That's like two steps from becoming an SD. I just scale it down. There you are. <laughs> Let's see how stupid this looks. I mean, it already does, but let's see how it looks in practice. Put over that ass too fat. I can't even walk. Jesus, Neozeon. If you get kicked by one of these feet once, you are... Entire torsos caved in. And the front end, literally, I don't have to say anything about it. Y'all are all thinking it. Alright, so what are we working on? We are going to make Samira from League of Legends. Which I need to pull up a source image. Want to get it correct? Oh, that's a shot with their guns. Hmm. 
Okie dokie. Now we will... Turn that down a bit. Alright. So let's see. We're going to need a bit of a longer gun for her left hand. We're going to need some f slim legs. Well, we're going to need a female body. Duh. And the maze head. Alright, let's, let's... rid of all that. Get a female looking head. Let's start from the top. We got the Nobel. Or if we really want to do something stupid, we could just go with that. When my cousin and I found that how you could do that in mobile, the mobile version of Gundam Breaker, we lost our shit. We were bursting our guts laughing at how stupid it was. We could probably make Omega Squad Teemo. Yeah, Dovin Wolf Pact, those three antenna are... There's like four of those antenna you have to build on the kit itself. It is a nightmare. And the stickers aren't any better. Like, it is probably one of the worst kits I have ever built. Well, okay. The experience was more tedious, but the way they went about it was so bad, it was obnoxious. The kit isn't bad. It's still standing to this day. It's a sturdy kit, reliable, but it's just the way they designed it. It was not good. How do you see with that? Oh, this, I thought that was a gym. Hopefully we can get like the Barbatoros in the update, the Calamity, Raider Forbidden, the Reborns Gundam, anything else, Shorzet, <laughs> like anything else from Witcher Mercury. The Floros would be cool. The Grimgird would be nice. That would be nice. That was actually a favorite of mine. Also kind of sucks that they give you the lupus. The head crest of the lupus and not the lupus rex. I mean, I'm glad we've got it, but... Actually, I think lupus rex is smaller. Like the V-fin. Yeah, the... The thin part, the centerpiece is much larger. But the side parts, not exactly. Dynamis. Does anyone know if you use like Dynamis or Cherudin's uh, shooting mode? Does it like do the whole animation where it changes the head? Appearance. I'm never gonna figure out why the G self has the V fin pointing forward like horns. I'm geez. Gino Reconquista was weird, but they had some designs that weren't terrible. The Kabakali, Kabakali, whatever it is, I couldn't get behind because it didn't feel like a final boss suit. Because if you compare like the Kabakali, to like the Reborns Gundam, the Legend, the Providence, or the new Calire, which they so better put into the game. I want those backpack parts. Or heck, even the Epion, it's like, you compare the two and there's like zero contest. It's custom from that, wouldn't be bad. I'm just so sick of mobile suits not having head Vulcans. 
Like, that drives me up the wall. It's like all the G-Fighters, the mobile G-Fighters, have head Vulcans. Okay, Wound Wart's not bad. The head isn't bad looking. I like the bits on the side with the purple tips. It kind of looks like ears. Boomerang Stagger. Can we make a Megazord? Power Ranger style Megazord? Cannon. We'll just make an elephant. We could do that. We could make an elephant. Someone, someone make a note. Someone make a note. We gotta make an elephant. Who am I looking for? Uh, Lin Carnation. Oh yeah, we can't change the color on that. I'm sorry, the dragon eyes on that is real cool. Mac Knight. Mobile Doll May. Um. Trim the hair a little bit. Hmm. We may have to modify that ourselves. Go with the Lin Carnation and then modify it ourselves. What about the Nobel, though? No. Too much Sailor Moon. Way too Sailor Moon. Okay, so the body we need... It's like we can't separate them by gender. That chest looks like Pyra from... I'm about to say Final Fantasy. But that is dead right wrong. It is, um... <sighs> Shit. Xenoblade Chronicles. Holy crap, how am I drawing a blank on that? Cubelet Mark II is in this? What's the difference? Samira dressed in Sailor Fuku. No. You show her Sailor Fuku, she'll say, buddy, fuck you. It kind of fits. The Nobel. That's an idea. We'll do a side by side shot. I thought those were Gatling guns, not rocket launches. Hmm. Actually, that kind of looks a little better. I don't know why those little bits on the side are there. Can't change the component. Get the legs out of here. Holy shit. This is the stuff of your nightmares. Get rid of the shield. It's kind of in the way. Dang, mobile arm maze arms are actually pretty long. I guess that kind of resembles her belt a bit. 
It's like just 90% the Jin Carn Lin Carnation. Oh wait, what about the Super Fumina? We haven't looked at any of that. Keep forgetting that's a thing. So you gotta buy all the parts. <laughs> I mean, if you show me a friend, if you show me a French-made Samira, I ain't complaining. Somebody will, but I'm not one of them. A little bow. Nah, that doesn't really suit Samira. I mean, if we make Samira heavy weapons type, maybe. Maybe. Although she doesn't really rock the shoulders. Mm. Sucks I can't do a side by side comparison. Have like a before and after. Okay, the May, the mobile doll May, the legs actually with the holsters there, or the pistols where they are, actually looks pretty good. Remove, remove. Rid of that backpack. Oh, we have to have a backpack? Shit. Well, that's a problem, ain't it? Um, where's the mobile doll made? She's got her backpack is very... I'm trying to figure out the flower design on the back of that. It's like four blade bits and two cannons. Like, I saw the Lin Carnation in-game for the first time, and I'm like, I want that backpack. Because of how different and unique it is. They'll probably never make a real version of the Lin Carnation. They probably never will. Which kind of blows, because that would possibly sell pretty well. You know? That's not bad. That ain't bad. Kind of fits the motif a little. Samira would definitely do that. Two pistols. What about the legs? Hmm. I'm also disappointed that the Lin Carnation, those are clearly beam shield emitters on her forearms from like Sea Destiny kits, and yet she doesn't get one. Kind of dumb. I mean, this thing is clearly a 30 minute mission sisters or something. What is it? 30 minute missions or 30 minute sisters, whatever that branch of the franchise that s series is. Now, if we got 30-minute missions parts in here as optional stuff, that would be cool. Like, actually really cool. <laughs> bow leg. Jesus, that is bow-legged as hell.
cropped laser. Alright, back to focus. Samira don't really wear a skirt all that much. We'll go with the mobile doll May. Unfortunately, her pistols are closer to her hips. But I guess we can stick with that for the moment. The backpack, we don't really need. We just need a short rifle. I honestly thought these were the same thing due to how similar they look, but they are very different. The Noir is better, in my opinion. Also, fun fact, if you look, all of the beam rifles from the original GATX series, like the Strike, Duel, Buster, Blitz, and Aegis, all of their beam rifles are different. Which, if you think, it's strange that all their beam rifle, none of their beam rifles are identical. Like, they're all specialized. Uh, mm. That's a machine gun? That is not a beam rifle in any sense of the word. That is a... That's a miniature plasma cannon. Barzan... Zeta was weird too. MS team, I kind of want to rewatch because that was a good series. Despite the whole Romeo Juliet motif going on, it was actually really good for how realistic it was. Looks like a sniper rifle. I've got a hot take about the Cassie later, because I I can't tolerate it in this game. Because you also left out the Penelope. Alright, we got the Beam Rifle Shorty. Which kind of fits, I guess. I mean, if we want to do Graves, there we go. Isn't that for the Sazabi? Or is that for the O? I think it's the Sazabi. Not sure what the heck you're from. I feel like it would be nice if they said, like, um, right here in the top right corner, what it's actually from. Yeah, I actually started with a pair of beam spray guns, and I kind of went with that whole three-shot-first fighting style. Just riddle them with bullets. Not the Dodds Lancer, just Dodds Gun. All right, there we go. That left hand blaze, right hand thorn, or is it right hand blaze, left hand thorn? 
The one on her right hand, which is stockier, it looks like a flame, like the muzzle, the underside of it looks like a flamethrower. The one on the left looks like an actual pistol. The one on the right looks more like a shotgun from Gunfire Reborn. You know, that actually could work. That right there. Due to the size, that could work. Now I just gotta find it again. Where's the shorty? Nah, we'll find it later. The pistol too? Well, aside from the mag, the magazine being a little longer. Two of those now? Sweet. See, the red section, if you look at Samira's gun in her right hand, which you probably can't, it looks like it's got, um, no. How do I describe it? It looks like it's got Sort of like a blade section underneath, like the red bit. Unfortunately, I don't want the handles to be too long. Seeing as it's a beam tomahawk. I mean, they're both pretty sizable pistols. Unless we just go with the beam guns. I'll be damned, that actually looks kind of similar. <laughs> First try. And melee will probably not do. Alright, builder's parts. First things first. We need a Schwert Gewehr. We need a Schwert Gewehr. Stag Beetle. You sure that's a Stag Beetle? Soldier. I don't know why you would ever want that. We gotta have the eye patch. I guess we could put the cross. Guess that can work. Her right eye is covered up. We making Samira. You gotta have a good eye for detail. Now I'll just smush this into her eye and call it.
I'll be damned. That actually works. I am a genius. Who am I kidding? I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, so next we need the actual reason. Dragon head antenna. Thought I already had that. Could probably turn that into a nose guard for a dog or something. Heat saber on the left. We just need a sword. That's all we need. Well, the hair. Mm. We'll put it on the left of the head. Closer. Kind of want it nuzzled up against your chest a bit. I'd say that's about right. All we gotta do is just uh, paint it black with a little bit of gold, and it's good. The first attempt's always the worst. Alright, so she doesn't really need cannons, she needs a sword. It's a little too big for you, lass. I really want to test these armor X, armed armor XC parts, but I don't know if they would look right. I mean, I guess the pistols look like holsters. A brim. We could make her a French maid. No, 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 no. Focus, focus. Make her a cockatoo. Caca! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I turned. I tried to mimic Big Jiggly Panda there. I'm sorry. I can't hate that dude. His voice is just his laugh. His voice. He could, Big Jiggly Panda of the Vanos Crew could bright up a room. His laugh, but he can laugh so hard he, you can't be mad about anything after that. But him laughing so hard to the point of wheezing sounds like he's hurting himself. I hope he isn't. But he is definitely the life of the group. I didn't really know who he was at first, but then I started hearing his laugh, and I'm like, my god, that is infectious. Add some depth, perhaps? That looks more like a funky earring. Hey, 
kind of thins it out. Kind of adds a little depth, I guess. A little bit of a weave. Do I know what I'm talking about? Nope. <laughs> Have I ever? Definitely not. It's like, post a video on YouTube, social media, whatever the hell, and stand by for validation just to feel like what you're doing with your life matters. Nope, we're not going to get depressed again. The Saint Master Duel Masochist. Which will probably hit. I just realized her head's not symmetrical. <laughs> her head is not symmetrical. She doesn't have the little thingy on the right side of the head. Why? Why not? Why? To make me ask stupid questions. Alright, now where's that dang sword? We're gonna want it on the back. On her back. Uh... It's kind of more of like a straight edge blade. I mean, it kind of just attaches to her back as well. I know we had the Schwert Gewehr. Anti-ship sword. Oh, it's been right here the whole dang time. Alright, we're gonna take this. Maybe, yeah, the right side of the backpack. Yeah, but that's so annoying, the stupid angle. Because then it's just going to clip into her leg. It's almost like they intentionally left it at an angle. That's another thing I don't get. It's like, it doesn't change anything. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's attached. I mean, we'll probably give her the Schwertgewehr, or maybe an Excalibur. I mean, the Schwertgewehr's got that shape. Unfortunately, we can't have a gun in one hand and a sword in the other. 
which is a little bit of a downside. I deselected that. The katana is too thin. Unless we crank the scale up, like, how big would that look? Heat Saber. Oh, damn, that actually kind of looks pretty good. That actually kind of could work. Move. Uh, I need a white one. And then we just adjust it. Crank it up to max size. You no, know, that actually kind of looks accurate. That actually looks more accurate than the Schwert Gewehr. If there's one thing we're good at, it fucking up pretty much. See, this is the problem. I rotate it, and it's like, where's the rotational point? It's clearly rotating on the x-axis from there, at the center. Doesn't make any sense. It's like, all three are, like, right here, the center axis. But... If I change it a little bit, it still changes at an angle. Which means she's going to slice her feet off. The Z axis don't do anything either. That's what I don't get. It's like the transforming it or changing it doesn't really do anything. I mean, we're two steps away from making right and... That's kind of accurate. It's pretty close.
She doesn't really use a shield. Unless we just give her a shield. Give her a shield, shrink it down. And call it Dorian's shield or something. What unit has the smallest shield? Easy eight. Oh yeah, we also got to make. Uh, we were told that by a coworker we should make that we should make a uh, '90s Wolverine. And I'm like, it's not impossible. It's just gonna take a little while. Leo's shield might work as a buckler. Need to make note of that. That's more of like a Spartan shield. This doesn't have melee combo, which is a little bit annoying. Just a little. Okay, uh, what are we looking for? We paint that yellow, we paint that red. Maybe? She is? Well, I don't remember if Samira's a blood rose or not. Drink it all the way down. I mean, it could kind of look like a hard point. And triple mega particle cannon and eye field. It's like barrier and uh, she rushed a GLP. Like that Tom Gian Tomahawk pistol, that actually looking up, lining up a little bit well, that was a happy accident. And a half. Okay, um, I think that might be it, to be honest. It's a shame we can't have the weapon fully disappear if we're using it. The eye field doesn't really work. I like that. Are these are those beam saber emitters? Oh my god, they are. I thought they were beam shield emitters, not beam sabers.
Also sucks we can't change the uh, appearance of the beat, the color of the beams. Because I would turn that like black and red in a heartbeat. What else could we put on her? It's a right hand weapon. Plasma knife? No. Rezen Maru. Not sure where that's from. Blade mode. You know, that's not bad of a design. Okay, we can't modify it. We can't adjust it. Kind of bites. That would be good for his Infernal Samira skin. Okay, now we were thinking that was going to be the, uh... That one, or this, was going to be on the back. Unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> it is a great sword, so it is kind of fitting. Unless we just use a goof heat sword or something. I've never used this weapon. The moveset is different than the RK Buster Sword. I think. Nope, it's the same. It just feels different. Shame we can't have this on our back. It actually looks more like her sword than the uh, Goof Ifrit's Heat Sword. Well, the Ifrit's Heat Sword kind of has that look. We'll check the Ifrit Kai's Heat Sword. Because we've also got the Goof Sword. I'm sorry, the Goof Custom was cool. Okay, that actually looks decent. And it has, like, the structure, like, um, the mechanism right here, which would be where Samira ejects the magazines, because she does, her gun, can't, her sword is, she's technically wielding a gun blade. So that's an idea. Arendite. Shame we can't have that. Bale sword. If we want to make Leona, we could. I'm getting an idea. <laughs> beam kunai. Beam saber, beam saber, beam saber, 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 saber. What? By the Atlas's beam sabers? That's stubby. Beginning 30, you gotta go with the Wolverine claws for that. Like, lightsaber Wolverine. Kyakushiki, Leo. Beam Saber Mark II. I do like how that blade is a solid beam on the top bit. Like, that's actually nice. Are 
Why are Tunei's beam safe so thin? Or beam blade. Versaga is a great sword. Cassis is somehow not a great sword. Beams there with heat knife. I don't know where this one came from, but it's not bad because I like the little heat knife acting like a hand guard. Only thing better was if it was double edged, so you could actually run it into an opponent. Is it from the Versago? Can't be. Beam Scissor, not a scissor at all. We could make the Love Phantom. We could make Hecarim. Yeah, I'm just going to make League of Legends builds from now on. Because people would want to see that shit. Also sucks we don't have the Skull Heart. So we don't get the, uh... Giant Buster Sword that was used by the, um, Crossbone. Cow's Fulch Sword Mode. Carbon Blade. Why do I have a Master Grade? Chevalier Saber. Jehokin Hyper Minovsky. What did he say? He's she's choking on my Hyper Minovsky. Also, it bugs my OCD that the effect parts don't line up. Like that that shouldn't bother me, but it does. It's like, oh yeah, it looks real nice from the side. Looks really intimidating, like some Thundercat level shit or Power Ranger stuff. But then you look at it from the side and you're like, no, it's not lined up. Club. Commando knife. Demolition knife. Which could work. Double sword. Extra large mace. Extra, extra large mace. Falcon sword. Thunder Valiant. Long flag, fire sword. Fraggle rock, three beam blade. That wouldn't be bad. Master grade. It's even bigger. I was always told that the handle of the fraggle rack beam blade could shoot a beam out of it but I guess I was wrong. Pistol axe mode, which I don't think he ever used it as an axe. Like, he more like used it as a bayonet. My beloved. Hey, I also bought yesterday a Metal Hellsinger for next month, for Halloween as we're going to call it, and Warhammer 40k Bolt Gunner. So if y'all want to see me uh, play through Bolt Gunner, and I'm thinking, why would you get Bolt Gunner? You know Jack's crap about Warhammer. And I'm like, well, if I know that little, I could go work for Amazon before they ruin the show. I'm praying they don't. Because you don't mess up that much lore just because to fit a prop, just to fit some agenda. You don't do that. Ever. It's like, I pray Henry Cavill gets to do, make it as accurate as possible. I pray he does. Because him being as big of a fan of Warhammer as he is, and a gamer, 
There we go. Free custom sword. Goof custom heat saber. The goof. Out of the three? See, the goof customs doesn't even look like a heat saber. It looks like a physical sword with nothing special about it. Then you got the Freak Custom, which is like way more edge. Almost like a Tanto style. And then the goof, which is more of like a scimitar. I think I like the goof best. And I thought it was a beam weapon the whole time, because I started Gundam games with Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. I thought the goof's weapon was like a beam sword. But no, it's just super heated. The heat should tell. I want to wear those on the forearms and just armed, just dash through units, enemies. Get up. My first sword. Yeah, I, I bought an SD and didn't go back. Large anti-ship sword, perfect strike freedom. Can I have two of these? Mace. No, that was my first sword right there. Started using it, never went back. Even when I started using the SD, I stuck with this sword because I liked the design. And the Crimson Blade, I could have it be. It was just too good. Mukumaru. Sekiha Tenkyoku. I just realized what it's, it, this thing is called. I just realized. Sekiha Tenkyoku Ken. Shiranui. Unryu. Twin Maces, Tiger Pierce, Thunderbolt Sword version. Thunder Sword version 2, which is not bad. That is the. That's not bad. That's another issue. It's like, I'm sorry. I like the SDs for how unpredictable they could be. But you would never expect anybody to be using an SD, but there you go. And that's like, oh, yeah. It's like, bing, bang, boom, here we go. I think we may just stick with this. Magnum sword. No, that's a katana. <laughs> we gotta make Poppy after this. <laughs> Gen Sword too Gen Sword too long definitely work for design purposes. But I this.
Okay, so... Fly the changes. We can't change... I was told we could change her head a little bit. We could change her hair color. Like, there's some way to do it. Unless we have to go and change her to the mobile doll May, which I don't want to do. It's just stupid we can't change the colors, because there's a palette pattern they've got. But we can't change it. May have to look it all up later. Okay. Yeah, the backpack we can change the color of. And that's about it. Now, I'm no expert, but... The back over here. That's got to be a little brighter. Okay. 
maybe. Maybe. Wait a minute, what am I doing? What was I doing messing with her hair for? What the hell was I what the hell's wrong with me? Could just use the parts from the knot leg. God, I am a dangus. I mean, she's not really the Black Rose. I think she's the Desert Rose, if I remember her lore correctly. That can just stay that way. Maybe she's got a little shine to it. Gonna have the light hit it. I don't even know if the Nobel will even let us change the color. That's it. That's all that removes. What a ripoff. Wait a minute. 
Tengo que quedar herido. Tengo que quedar. I can't change it. Gonna have to wait for a patch, possibly. Unless we can cheese it somehow. Just need a long stripe to resemble her thigh. This is annoying, annoying. Unless we use the parts to physically change her hair. Is that even possible? Yeah, I know what to sh title this stream. I struggle to make Samira in Gundam Breaker 4 because I'm a dangus. Heck, I don't even remember the last time the word scrub or noob was ever used. 
like scrub playing league for eight years i remember when scrub was like the go-to word to like insult somebody's skills now it's like pfft, where the hell is it you don't hear it ever Hmm. I need something around. Hmm. Let me just put in another hair stabilizer. You need the right one. Minus two seventy. Yeah, it works. Does you just put a big ass GN fang container on her head? Because screw it. Maybe if we use the head unit. Just use a third hair piece.
I'm starting to develop an unfound, a previously unfound appreciation for uh, animators and video games who have to put up with hair physics. Though the ones who have to apply jiggle physics to female characters, how do you ever get any work done? <laughs> Asking for a friend here. Like, dead serious. How do you get anything done? Automatically deflects a beam fired at your mobile suit and reduces damage activated when automatically hit with a beam. The beam! What did you say? I think you said he got hit by an emu. Samira's kind of got more of a stockier figure. Light changes, and then we go and paint it, and then it's like we pray we get an update in the future. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And Samira keeps all her hair up at the front. Screw it. We we've got to start. Call this the Samira One. But that is all we have for time today. That that's how we not speak English. Looks like she's taking a shite. Disco. Jack. <sighs> yeah, screw it. Well, that's all the time we got for today, folks. Join us tomorrow for possibly Koromon or something else. But until then, I have been Toaster Gorgi Gaming, and I will see you all in the next time. Until then, ciao.